Sunday, October the 17th, 2021. Just about 12 o'clock, headed north on Roswell Road, Highway 9, Georgia Highway 9. Coming down the hill with 285 in front of us. And we will video, right now my intention is to video Roswell Road through Alpharetta, turn left, go over to Crabapple, and take 372 north to Ball Ground. But as you can see, that traffic could change what, I, what we are going to do today. Twelve o'clock and traffic is <laughs> traffic is what it is. I won't put this video in the Atlanta group because it is outside two eighty five primarily. I will put it in the Decatur and the Briarcliff groups, even the Avondale group. I know it's not quite, doesn't meet their criteria, but it, I know it has interest. It has interest even for the Atlanta group, but uh, I know the admin have to have rules and stick with them or it just doesn't work. So I don't have a problem with that. Works for me. Oh, no, Egg Harbor. I just thought I said Hog Harbor. We just passed a Whole Foods. I used to go in there and eat quite a bit. I just, I love their salad bar. You get meats and all the salad and all that stuff. Again, this is Roswell Road. We're headed north, Georgia Highway 9. Hammond Road crosses right here. To the right takes you back down to Dunwoody. To the left, I think, it takes you over to... Uh, Shoot, I can't remember the name of the road. These have been so long since I've been up here, but I still know them, but I don't remember all the names. Clean juice. Now, what does that mean? Nookies, hoagies, that got something to do with Phil Negro? A knuckleball pitcher for the Braves? I don't know. I wouldn't think he'd be part owner of a restaurant. I wouldn't think he would need to be. Much less want the headache and the aggravation. But I don't know. You're getting a good representation of Roswell Road traffic and you can pretty much apply this to <laughs> a whole lot of Atlanta's roads. Mount Vernon Highway to the right takes you back down to Dunwoody. Johnson Ferry crossing right here to the left takes you all the way up and to the right takes you back down to Peachtree Industrial. To the left will take you all the way up to Shallowford, I think. Go over across the river and do all that, do all that fun stuff. Vernon Woods Drive down there to the right. Used to be up here a couple of days a week, two or three times a week at least. But eat up here. There's a Kroger down here on the left. I don't know if it's still here or not. Publix down here on the right. I assume it's still here. Kroger.
corner is gone. It's a Goodwill now. Publix is still there on the right. Abernathy will take you over to uh, Johnson Ferry. To the right, it'll take you back into Dunwoody. Peoples. Marsh Creek. I'm not familiar with Marsh Creek. Some new stuff there on the left. You know, this style of living is not for me. I, I have, I can't imagine living in this stuff. But uh, obviously, an uh, awful lot of people like this style of living. And God bless them. They make a lot of money. They spend a lot of money. They buy a lot of products, and it helps keep all of us going. Personally, I'm glad they like this type of living because otherwise they'd be out there in the rural areas where I like that type of living. <laughs> and they would make it too crowded. So the GoPro cut itself off is too hot. So my idea of replacing this Osmo with a GoPro <laughs> isn't going to work. My advice is buy two Osmos, put the change in your pocket, and stay away from GoPro 10 Black, GoPro Black 10 get two Osmos, extra batteries, and some other accessories for the same price or less. I say you can put some change in your pocket what you'll spend for GoPro Black 10 and some accessories. I'm not convinced that the video is any better either from what I've seen so far. I'm going to do a separate video of the GoPro Black 10 and it's not going to be a good one. Road takes you back to Dunwoody. Publix there. Seems like there used to be a Kroger right here. Maybe it's on the other side, going down the other hill over there. Morgan Falls is up here on the left. There used to be a landfill, golf course. Jumping off point for jumping off the big cliff in the uh, Chattahoochee. Big trees forest preserve there. We may have already passed Morgan Falls. I don't know. I say it's been so long since I've spent much time in here. I don't recognize this area that much either. up here all the time but that was I think this is where Morgan Falls oh yeah Morgan Falls Road right there to the left nice park out there subcontract work all over the place up here for a bunch of different builders. I still got to get gas. Gas is 309. That is about par for the course right now. 
I saw it in Lilburn a while ago for 306. Pitts Road. I can't remember Pitts Road. I'm not sure where Pitts Road takes you. It, I don't know if it goes all the way through to Dunwoody or not. Probably not because we have to cross over 400. There are a limited number of bridges that cross 400 over there. Yeah, that GoPro 10, the batteries don't last as long as they said they're going to. It gets hot. It records in H, V, H, E, V, C, high efficiency video code for most of its settings. Windows 10 doesn't recognize it. Now that my software recognizes it, so. I've got to use a setting I don't really want to use to be able to record in H264, which is what YouTube recommends and what I am used to, accustomed to. I hadn't tried to cut it back on yet. It's probably cooled down enough to turn back on. And this this Osmo has gotten hot and shut off before, but it'll usually shut off the back screen and keep recording. That DJI just cut off. Okay, coming down this hill right here, if you turn left down here, what is the name of this subdivision? Hunt Cliff. It's on the river, and I think it has horse stables, it has golf, high-end subdivision, but it's been around a long time. I guess that subdivision's been around 40 years. Those, a lot of those houses are dated. I don't know if they're pushing those down in there or just remodeling them. Look at all that stuff there on the left. I don't know if those are new townhomes or apartments. They go on back though. Now here's where that Kroger was. But it's no longer a Kroger. Coming down the hill, we're about to cross over the Chattahoochee River. Roberts Drive comes out here to the right. It'll take you up to Spalding. No, it takes you up to one of the others. Okay, here's the Chattahoochee. Crossing over into Fulton, I mean Cobb County from Fulton County. To the left here is Azalea. Wave around through there and end up over in Little Little Roswell, Lower Roswell Road. To the right takes you over to uh, over to what is it, Oakland Bridge? Over to around Horseshoe. Or I guess it's Horseshoe Bend or Ocean, some Horseshoe subdivision. Coming up the hill here, we're going into Roswell. Last time we did this, we turned left on Georgia 120 and went over to 75 and went up. This time we're going to take Highway 9 right on through Roswell, on up through Alpharetta, not all the way through Alpharetta, but part of the way. And then we're going to turn left and go over to Crabapple, then take 372 up to Ball Ground.
I'll turn the GoPro back on here shortly. Coffee house. I had an insurance claim on that little greenish aqua house there. Town homes here. Let's see what they start at. From the 500s. That's 5.99, and I bet you won't find but one, if one, in there. Be closer starting off at uh, probably 6.49. But here's where we turn left and turn right. Right there goes down to the Roswell Mills. We're gonna go right on through Roswell here. To the left is Georgia 120. Also on 120 headed north, and then 120 will turn to the right up here. We're going to stay on Highway 9. cemetery right up here. I haven't explored it much. I don't know what the history is. We're going to stay on 9 and 120 here to the right. You could fork off there to the left and go down through the little shopping district. This road, if you turn left up here, this is Magnolia Street. It'll take you on over to, I think, Oak, Oak Lane, something other over there that will end up into uh, Johnson Ferry. Ease over here to the left. The Roswell Shopping District, right there, you know, downtown through there to the left. Roswell used to be way out, and for a long time, Atlanta residents, if y'all remember, Alpharetta is really out in the boondocks. Alpharetta? What in the world? How do you get there? <laughs> so it's northwest Georgia, isn't it? <laughs> no more, folks. We first started working in Alpharetta. There's still chicken farms up there. One thing that the GoPro does do much better than the Osmo is the horizon is much easier to uh, to get right. The GoPro has a lot of good qualities, but so far the out bad just makes it very difficult for me to, to use the thing. I was planning on replacing the Osmo with the GoPro, but it, the GoPro may have to be a backup. I mean, I already had a GoPro Black 3 that did good video. It wasn't as stable. And it had an Osmo, I mean, a uh, GoPro Silver, again, that did good video, it just wasn't as stable. This is really a big, big disappointment. I mean, 
this is the middle of the summer, I don't use air conditioning much. This is the first day of fall for me. But um, it wasn't hot in here at all, and the DJI just said, Amber, camera's too hot, it's shut off. The Osmo, it'll say that, you know, it'll say camera hot, and it'll turn off the back screen, but it'll keep recording. Roswell police just went by on the left. I don't know if we're still in Roswell or whether we've crossed over to what you would consider Alpha, Alpharetta. I think I would just about consider this Alpharetta now. Yeah, another feature that I like about the GoPro is you can get the super wide view now. It sort of makes taller objects turn inward, sort of arch inward towards the center because of the super wide angle but you can see further over to the left and the right, which is better for stuff like this driving. And you can switch back to a standard or a narrow view if um, you're going down a dirt road or something like that and you don't need that full wide, wide view. Okay, this is what? This is Upper Hembry Road. I don't remember much of anything about Upper Hembry. I do remember Hembry, but I don't remember where it went. North Meadow Parkway to the right. I don't remember it at all. I know I've always considered this going into Alpharetta here. I don't, I don't, I don't consider this Roswell anymore here. But nobody cares what I consider this or that. And I don't blame them. I wouldn't care what I thought either. <laughs> Heck, I don't care what I think. Maserati, get off that wallet. Six Ferrari. These people up here, I don't guess they have to get off their wallet very much. They got deep pockets, or a lot of them do anyway. was here. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. It looks fairly new. That's about the only thing that there was to eat in Alpharetta was the dairy queen. have to pay very careful attention to where we need to turn for us to get over to uh, Crab Apple. Maxwell Road to the right, I remember it, but I don't remember much about it. Roswell Street to the left. right through town and seems like that right there on the left was the Dairy Queen looks like it doesn't it maybe it was down here but anyway the, the Dairy Queen is the only thing that's a new one it may have been a, a backup of the other one and this is 2 419 and East 120 Yeah, so I was wrong back there. That wouldn't have been 120 back there. 120 would be up here, going through Duluth. I have made several wrong statements, incorrect statements. So 92 will probably also cross over right here. Is that correct? I'm not sure. I don't know. I've forgotten. 
I don't think you can even turn left where we used to turn left. There's the Publix. We're coming right into downtown Alpharetta. Very little of any of this stuff was here when I used when I first started coming up here. Hardly none of it was here. And like I said, look at all the people out. Milton Avenue. Yeah, Milton is over there to the left. I apologize for all this turning on and turning off, but I know sitting here in this traffic is not any fun. Not any fun for me. I'm sure it's not any fun for y'all either. Okay, friends, somebody Google digital scientist for me. I just saw a sign that said digital scientist. What in the world does that mean? And right here on the left, I used to have some artwork for sale. had pictures and some garden gates right there on the left, that little place right there. It is now... I guess some kind of coffee house, maybe. And I'm wanting to turn down here, if we can, to the left. Yes, we can. I think this may be Mayfield. From my distant recollection. Yes, how about that? Well, I pulled that out of the bottom of my convoluted mind. I wonder I pulled that out of the folds. <laughs> I guess it's because I was on it, throwed it so much. 